everyone, Jeff Chandler here. We want to introduce to you our cattle working system. We're going to show you how this kit comes together to get today. Let's go. Now how this is going to work is we got a 10 foot bow gate right here where you're going to run your cows in. Super nice heavy duty out of all of our 6 rail heavy duty panels. So you bring your cows in here. Now this is going to be basically your catch pin. Now we added a second pin back here, 10 by 20. So this one's 20 by 20. We added a second pin back here, 10 by 20. So if you need to separate any cows calves, bulls, whatever. You separate them in here and then we got a nice 90 degree sweep system over here that you're gonna enjoy. Once you got them separated, you can bring your cows in here. You got a sweep system and it goes right into our alley. And what's nice about the sweep system is we've got all these catch latches. So if a cow decides to turn back on you and you fall back, well this latch is gonna fall down and catch or you can just move it slowly drop into each of those slots to uh, stop the gate there super nice design like we said goes into an alley and that that alleyway can go to your to your chute or just have the alley to load into a trailer great system we sell here at Sun Peaks Fence Barn so if you're looking for a cattle working system give us a call today we'd love to help you out All right, now that you've seen our walkthrough and exactly what this is, let me show you exactly how it goes together, step by step, panel by panel. Here we go. All right, now in our diagram, we actually have another video showing you step by step on how this goes together. And we're gonna be using two different panel clamps here. As you can see, this one is an inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths panel clamp. So that's gonna go from a panel to panel. And then we also have a two and three eighths two inch and five eighths and we call these panel adapters so adapter clamps okay and these are basically going to be going from your gates your 10 foot bow gates to your panels so i'm going to show you the different places where each of these need to go um, here right now in this video all right so this is going to be your very first panel right here it's actually going to be your 10 foot bow gate that you're going to want to set up now you're going to start with the 20 by 20 pen, okay, and this is going to be first step, 10 foot bow gate. In order to hold the 10 foot bow gate up, you're gonna need a corner. Where you have that 90 degree corner is what's gonna stabilize it. So you're gonna have a panel, your 10 foot six rail heavy duty panel and a 10 foot bow gate. And you're gonna first attach that using a panel adapter, the two and three eighths to inch and five eighths. As you see there, this is gonna be a bigger pipe. So you got the bigger clamp on one side to the smaller pipe on the other. Now that you got your angle, your corner, the 10 foot bow gate in your panel, it's holding itself up. You can now move to the rest of the pen. Your next step is gonna be a regular panel with inch and five eighths, the inch and five eighths panel clamps, two of those. And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna add the next bow gate. Now you can see here, we're gonna have again, we're gonna to add to the bow gate and it's got a bigger pipe for the frame. So we're gonna use another adapter here and on the bottom. So two panel adapters on this one from the panel to the 10 foot bow gate. So we're gonna move now and again finish the 20 by 20 before we continue. And we're gonna go to another two panel adapters from the bow gate to a panel, a 10 foot panel, okay? And we're gonna get to this corner and we're just gonna get back to inch and five eighths panel clamps because they're gonna be the same size pipe, inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths. 
And we're gonna go to a panel again, inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths. Panel, inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths panel clamp. And your last panel here to finish off the 20 by 20. And you're gonna finish it off with a panel adapter, inch and five eighths to two and three eighths. And that is the 20 by 20, start with that. Now we're gonna move to the 10 by 20. All right, come on into the 10 by 20. We call this the separator pen, so you can separate cattle into this pen before you go into the 90 degree sweep. Okay, and we're gonna add, your 20 by 20 is all done now, so we're gonna just be adding panels, okay? So as you can see here, this is already done, and we had an adapter to the panel. Well, we're gonna go from the panel to panel again, so all that needs to be is a regular inch and 5 eighths to inch and 5 eighths panel clamp there. And there's a reason for that, and we'll show you it here in a minute. Again, you're gonna come over here to another panel, inch and 5 eighths to inch and 5 eighths. That's gonna be your 90 degree corner, the 10 by 20 here. And then this is our panel gate combo. And this actually has the same size pipe as the panel, so you can really put this panel gate combo anywhere you want. So if you want it here for this last 10 feet, or back here, or anywhere else, you can use that, but we put it here in this diagram so we could show you how it works. But inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths. Quickly wanted to show you the reason why we need to do this area right here the way we're doing it. So come on over. So be sure to have your panel on the outside of your 10 foot bow gate. And you can see here, the reason for that is because of this latch. Now if this panel, you can't really put it here because this, this uh, latch catch is right in the way, okay? So you need to put it on the outside just like it is, and that's why we're putting this panel to panel the way it is, okay? So remember that when you're getting this all put together, and there's another area we're gonna show you that as well, but we're gonna keep going through the steps. All right, now that we got our uh, panel gate combo connected, it's got the same size pipe, so inch and 5 eighths to inch and 5 eighths. Now at the end of this, this panel gate combo we're going to be attaching to a 10 foot bow gate. And remember the 10 foot bow gate has the bigger frame. So we're going to need a panel adapter here. 2 and 3 eighths, 2 inch and 5 eighths. And again on the same thing here we need to make sure that this panel is to the inside because of this latching system. See that if the panel was here or here there would be nowhere to connect it. So you have to go past it a little bit in order to make this latch work. All right, now to finish off our 10 by 20 separator pen, all we've got to do here is attach now our two and three eighths on the bow gate to our panel of the 10 by, or the 20 by 20 pen. So that's gonna finish off basically our 20 by 20. Now we've got our 10 by 20 separator pen. Again, adapters here from the outside to our panels. So two and three eighths to inch and five eighths. Now next step is gonna be your 83 inch panel, your shorter panel, as, long, as well as the alley frame. So right here, this is our 83 inch panel, and we're gonna go from the bow gate, which has a bigger frame, two and three eighths to inch and five eighths panel adapter, as you can see there. Okay, we're gonna go from there over to our alley frame. Okay, now everything else on the rest of this kit is gonna be standard inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths. So you can see here, inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths to the frame. This is gonna set us up for our alley. Okay, so you wanna set up this line, this 83 inch and this alley frame only. And then we're gonna move over to our sweep panels. All right, now this is the 90 degree sweep. We already set up the 83 inch panel and the alley frame. Okay, now we're gonna be doing the sweep panels. These are these smaller, shorter panels with these little catches here for your, your slide latch. Okay, we're gonna go from panel, which is right now how we have it, a panel gate combo. It's got the gate in it, but it's got the inch and five eighths and inch and five eighths. So a regular panel clamp to regular panel clamp. And you're gonna take this all the way down with standard panel clamps, inch and five eighths and add them. 
make sure the latch is on that side. So you keep having a latch and it all matches. And you're gonna connect it to the alley frame at the end. Now, kind of just get it all kind of snug. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna close this gate. Okay, and as you close this gate, you're gonna know where you need to be for your angle, for your 90 degrees, okay? If you gotta kick out these little sweep tub panels as needed, if it's too far in to get this right angle, you can. And once it's right, make sure you tighten it real good with your socket set or your, your, uh, your impact drill works really handy. So do that all the way down, keep going down each panel, checking it where it needs to be. Making sure it's tight. And then that is your 90 degree sweep right here. So we've got our 20 by 20, our 10 by 20 separator pen. Now we've finished our 90 degree sweep. We're gonna move into the alley frame, which is, or the alleyway, which is super simple. All right, now that we have our 90 degree sweep and we're coming to our alleyway, we already have this alley frame already installed. Okay, so all you gotta do is go from your alley frame, inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths panel clamps on both sides. There's four of them. And you're gonna do panel on one side, panel on the other. So you got two panels. You're gonna then do your alley frames. The biggest thing for this alley frame is just keeping the right distance. Um, as with the panels as you go down the alley. So that's why they're important. So, and then we're gonna do panel to the alley frame and then alley frame to two more panels, all using inch and five eighths to inch and five eighths panel clamps. So you're gonna have three alley frames. You're gonna finish off with your last two panels and you're gonna have one more alley frame which comes with, with the kit as you can see here. This is actually our slide gate that we have also available. You can get one or two of these and use them as you'd like. Um, these are additional products to use with this cattle system if you'd like. So hopefully this helps you as you're setting up your cattle system. Thank you guys so much. Jeff Chandler with Seven Peaks Fence and Barn. <laughs>